excited for a new video welcome back and hello if you're new here thank you for joining me today's video is all about makeup makeup is one of those things that i think a lot of people wear but there's i tend to find that there's people who are really 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 into makeup and people like me who are just kind of like well i just wear it because <laughs> i don't want to scare people in the mornings <laughs> in all seriousness some people just have like minimal makeup and others have a huge huge amount and I'm not here to tell you what you should be into and what you shouldn't be into some people collect books other people collect makeup you know if you're if you're a makeup artist or like a beauty blogger or something you might have tons and tons and tons of it or if it's just your hobby if you're just really really into it and that's fine I'm not gonna tell you that you should have a certain amount but uh, I am going to give you a few tips on kind of how to declutter things like how long they last for and hygiene and also how to organise them. So let's get into it. Okay, so first up, let's talk about how to declutter your makeup. So if you're thinking either you've got kind of too much and you're not using it or you just really want to kind of sort it out because you haven't really looked through it for a long time and you think you might have some some things lurking in your makeup drawer that have been around for a long, long time. So firstly, what you want to do is literally gather all of your makeup, kind of get it all out onto a flat surface and then gather like for like. So all your lipsticks together, mascaras, powders, blushes, categorize everything and really lay it out so that you can see. Again, if you don't have a lot, this <laughs> this might not be very much at all, but if you have a lot, it might be a lot. So choose where you want to do it on a flat surface where you've got enough room. Once you've got everything in the kind of piles of categories, then you can really see exactly what you've got. And this will make it much easier to make an informed decision. Whereas if you kind of went through everything one by one and tried to make a decision on it, you might think, well, I don't know, is this my only mascara? Or have I got five other lipsticks in this same color? So yeah, it just makes it a lot easier. So once you've done that, then go through them. Now, if you can see something that you know is open and it's probably been open for quite a long time, then you might wanna think about possibly decluttering it. So the thing about makeup is it can be quite difficult to tell how long things last for or when they're off because makeup doesn't have a sell-by date as such what it has and i will i've got an example to show you here but it might not focus so there's a little kind of icon on here and it looks like an open pot and then it will say this one says 12 m and that basically means 12 months from when you open it so actually i know that this is i've had this for longer than 12 months this is a prime example so generally the more moisture content something has the shorter it lasts so things like powder and blushes as long as it's the dry ones not the cream based ones the advice is that they last for like two years now i know i don't think i've probably had this for quite two years but i've definitely had it for over a year but i don't actually touch the inside of this pot with my brush that touches my face so it has these little holes here as a lot of powders do and what i do is just i'm not going to do it now but i just kind of tip it into the lid how much i'm going to use and then i just use it so in terms of hygiene this is actually very very hygienic because the actual powder never comes into contact with my skin so something like this is going to last you a lot longer than say a mascara for example so basically the closer to your eye again the shorter it's going to last because anything that it touches your eyes you could potentially get really bad like eye infections thankfully i've never had an eye infection and i'll be honest i definitely definitely use mascaras for longer than six months and the again the average for mascaras and things like eyeliners and eyeshadows it tends to be like three to six months or six to nine months it, it depends how much you use them and that's the thing it's like if you know if you're wearing makeup every single day then you're going to get through it quicker than someone who wears makeup just when they go out in the evening or or like every other day or whatever i do wear makeup when i go to work when i go to see clients and also when i'm filming but if i'm just walking the dog and then i'm working from home all day i won't bother putting makeup on because i walk the dog at like half five in the morning so no one sees me 
<laughs> so that's fine. But no, it, it was funny though. I actually really, when I was younger, I wouldn't even be able to leave my house without makeup on. As in like, I wouldn't even be able to go into the front garden where someone might see me. It was, I was really, I had really, really bad like, I just wasn't very confident and so when I was younger I used to go through a lot more makeup than I do now but now I'm just like uh one don't have time two I don't care what people think as much I do a little bit still <laughs> what do you think do you wear makeup if you're just popping to the shop let me know in the comments I'd love to know like what what your makeup routine is so back to makeup and hygiene so in all seriousness makeup is very good at trapping and harboring bacteria so you do want to be a bit careful realistically probably no one is going to write on a label and stick it on their makeup the date that they opened the item you might do <laughs> and if you do that is very 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 organized and i salute you <laughs> but i don't think even i would do that uh, so it is generally just a case of like trying to remember so as i said if you have a lot of makeup and you haven't been through it for a long time and you you know you know things have been open for a really long time use your common sense but i'd probably err on the side of caution and possibly get rid of it with a lot of makeup you can tell if it's off like sometimes it will smell or it will go a funny texture or even a funny colour. Obviously anything that looks like that, just get rid of it. There's no point like risking your health for, for something that may have cost you a little bit of money. Just try to kind of keep an eye on that you're not opening things if you've already got one open. Definitely try to use up what you've got first. Obviously that's not gonna be relevant if you're using a different colour, but if it's like a foundation or something or a mascara, then yeah, try to use what you've already got open before you get excited and buy a new one. Because you know, we don't like waste, we wanna be more sustainable and also, you know, you want to try and save money too. O on that hygiene front as well, if you are, even if you're not actually, but particularly if you're prone to breakouts, which I have definitely been since I've been pregnant. Oh my goodness, you can probably tell my skin is not great at the moment. But yeah, if you are prone to breakouts, then it's even more important that you're kind of careful with your makeup because uh, in particular brushes, which I'll come on to in a sec, but you know, powders and things like that, that you're putting on your face daily, obviously your brushes are touching your skin and then touching the the blusher, unless it's one like this, but makeup that's got bacteria in it or that's old can definitely cause breakouts and skin irritation as well. If you're the type of person that has really sensitive skin, then you're gonna want to be even more careful with this. And that's why I was sort of saying about common sense because you know your skin. If you, like me, use a brush to put your foundation on, then you're probably gonna want to wash your brush is fairly regularly so I think I have about five make, uh, foundation brushes or something like that I don't personally think that's excessive because I always wear foundation when I wear makeup so I don't I wouldn't ever go out with like just mascara on for example I'd almost I'd almost rather wear foundation than eye makeup and actually the, one of the reasons I have five and I don't just have one is because I I don't want to get breakouts and I want to change my brushes regularly so I will change my makeup uh, my foundation brush at least like once a week that doesn't mean I wash them <laughs> once a week I don't I save them up and then I wash them all together generally sometimes I do the odd one because I do have a favorite one which I should probably get another one of and then maybe get rid of another one of the ones that I don't like so much but <sighs> money <laughs> So yeah, so I tend to wait uh, and I maybe wash them like, I don't know, every three weeks or every month or something and I wash them all together. Now you do not need any fancy brush cleaner that they will try to market and sell you. Seriously, it's a waste of money. Like I used to have one years and years and years ago. I used to have a, this specific dedicated makeup brush cleaner. I, it was from MAC Makeup. Firstly, I don't even remember it being that good and I can't remember how much it was. I mean, we're probably talking like 10 years ago now, so yeah, I can't remember, but it, but it was definitely more than like Fairy Liquid, for example, which is what I use to clean my brushes. So I literally just use soap or washing up liquid. But yeah, I just use it. I just wash them at my kitchen sink. And then we have this, um, it's not an airing cupboard actually. It's, God, this is getting so off track, but our heating is air source heating. And so we have this kind of random cupboard in our kitchen with like a big, I guess it's a water tank. I don't know, it's kind of quite a big tank. I am not a plumber. <laughs> I love my DIY, but I am definitely not a plumber. My sister is, funnily enough. But yeah, it's this big thing. Anyway, it's this cupboard and it gets, the cupboard gets really, really warm. And so I tend to just put my makeup brushes on top of this thing. It's safe, don't worry that 
it's not like it's not dangerous and they dry really quickly so what I do is I just wash them and then I leave them in there overnight and then in the morning they're dry which is amazing but you could just put them like near a radiator or just somewhere or just leave them to air dry but definitely washing your brushes is a good thing there are these things like gadgets that you can get that I, I'm not I think they wash them at the same time but they definitely dry them I just I do wonder if they're just a gimmick again and as you know I don't like gimmicks I don't like things that are going to waste your money I like to give you realistic practical advice on organization and there's a lot of organizers especially on Instagram that will tell you you need all of these gazillions of things to organize your life and you really really don't rewinding back to the how to declutter when you are looking through your things it's not just about hygiene and if things are off or not it's also about do you still wear it do you still like that color if it's a lipstick is it actually gosh you know do you think oh would I wear this is it a bit out there <laughs> if it is there's no point keeping something yeah okay you paid for it but if you're not going to wear it you're actually just wasting space and you know you probably want the space more than you want the item that you're never going to use or wear another thing that i tend to find with clients and even myself i used to get these beauty boxes sent to me a few years ago some of the things were really good but other things i just think oh i would never wear like you know if a color didn't suit you and and also i'm really not very into kind of eyeshadows and things like that i don't I can't, I can't, honestly can't be bothered <laughs> um but i wear lipstick and I, you know i do sometimes wear other colors other than nude but yeah i'm not very adventurous in the makeup department so if you get any kind of freebies like that and it's just not your color don't even bother opening it just give it straight to charity and uh, or you can also give it to women's shelters as well and it's obviously something that they might not absolutely need as a necessity it's kind of more of a luxury but actually i can imagine if you're having to be in that situation i mean it would be absolutely horrendous but i'm sure that it would be nice to have some makeup to make yourself feel a bit better so but either way i'm kind of getting into the nitty gritty of it but obviously just make sure it's sealed they're not going to lower their standards just because it's a, a charity yeah anything sealed you can give there or to charity shops you could also use the app olio it was initially a food waste app but they do everything now as well which is great and then also anything that you have opened but you've maybe literally used it like once and it's something like a blusher or even a lipstick because you can hygienically clean them with like a wipe but yeah anything that's open just maybe ask your friends or family if they want it they might love it they might that might be their color just before you chuck it away if it's still in working order then yeah see see what you can do with it as much as we want to make space and declutter we also want to try to be as sustainable as we can and reuse things etc if you've bought something and it was a mistake and you feel a bit guilty about it don't let that guilt make you keep it because if you're just not going to use it again it's just a waste of time so let's talk about how to organize your makeup firstly this is obviously going to depend entirely on volumes if you have a lot of makeup it's going to be very different to if you just have like a small makeup bag if you have a small makeup bag great just keep it in your makeup bag do wash your makeup bag occasionally because again they can get a bit messy some of them you can just chuck straight in the washing machine others you have to wipe out with a a damp cloth or a wipe so for me i used to have a big unit of loads of drawers it was like a one of those mom tall tall boy chest drawers things and it was like full of makeup and hair stuff and when i moved as you would have seen in the vlog a couple of weeks ago when i moved from that big room into a into one wardrobe i basically had to get rid of that entire <laughs> entire thing i had so much and i literally didn't use any of it i mean it was ridiculous i think to be honest it was just a case of there was room for it at the time it was in there and i didn't have time it wasn't one of my priorities like i had so many other things to do that were actually priorities it just kept getting pushed to the back and because it wasn't affecting my life i had no reason to urgently do it Whereas other things, if they're affecting my life, then I need to sort them out, then I will sort them out. But that just wasn't, so it just, yeah. So a lot of this makeup just stayed in there for so, so long. And when I was going through it, I was like, oh my goodness, this is ridiculous. So I, yeah, I decluttered a lot. I mean, seriously a lot. Like I now have my makeup, as I showed you a couple of weeks ago, literally in just, well, it's actually just one pull out drawer. I mean, and the, and the drawer is like this deep. It's really, really thin. So yeah, I hardly have any now. And it's great. I feel so much better because I know that what's in that drawer is what I use on a daily or weekly basis. So I just keep mine in the drawer. And actually, I still haven't managed to order 
a container from there because it's all loose at the moment and I'm not gonna lie it's slightly stressing me out but again it's just something I, I need to kind of look for but I can't remember the measurements of it now but I've got it written in my phone so anytime I go to like B&M or anywhere like that I have a quick look and see if there's anything but it's just not it's just so so thin <laughs> so I do I need to do a proper like internet search and try and find something because it is kind of driving me mad so I know that stackers do a an extendable one I design do one as well so I'll try and find a few and link some in the description box down below and they come you can get perspex ones or plastic or um, bamboo whatever you like if you're really really into your makeup there's so many fancy makeup storage solutions out there I don't have enough now <laughs> to warrant having any of those but you can get the ones with they have individual holes for lipsticks and different things like that and and they're great if you're very if you're a very meticulous person if you're the type of person who kind of just would rather just chuck it in and, and rummage around and find something which is a little bit probably more like me really when I'm always in such a rush I like to be able to see what I've got but I like to just kind of put it back in in one place without having to find which hole it went into but if you are like that then they are great and they look lovely and if you've got space for them perfect they can be quite expensive though especially if you need a lot of them so just bear in mind but just don't try to over organize because like I said if you're not that type of person it's gonna get into a mess and then you're just gonna get frustrated and you it won't work for you that storage solution won't work for you and then you'll basically have wasted your money and we don't want that around here so really think about how much you've got what you have to store as i said when you're decluttering it and when you're organizing it, you can see exactly what you've got so so make your decision on storage after as always don't buy any storage first also it depends on what space you've got as well like if you've got drawers then you, you put them in there but if you don't you'd have to ha have it set out differently for me for makeup brushes i just have like a nice glass pot on the side on my dressing table where i have my brushes and then the actual makeup is inside and then i've got a couple of creams like primer like eye cream primer which they're in really nice glass pots and so i just have those on the side in like a little mirror and brass tray rectangle tray and they look pretty because i'm not the type of person i don't like a lot of stuff being out i find it i find it quite messy and i don't i don't like it but they look like they're supposed to be there and it's nice and it's all good one other thing i did want to mention was that there are a lot of makeup brands that do a take back scheme so for when your pots are empty quite a lot of them you can take them back to the store and either they will just recycle them for you which is great you don't have to recycle them yourself or put them into landfill or they will do a, a thing where you take a certain amount of pots back and they'll give you a freebie so I know that with MAC makeup you can take them back and I believe it's six pots I did talk about this on my wardrobe vlog a couple of weeks ago you will get a free lipstick and the lipsticks are I think between like 15 and 18 pounds or something now so yeah it's, it's quite good so yeah and you don't even have to wash the pots either so handy and then other shops do like just kind of recycle schemes so boots john lewis Aveda. there's so many i i will probably actually write a blog post on this and just link everything so if you want to check out my blog post as well click the description box down below because my blog link is on there and i will also link any good take back and freebie schemes that i can find in the description box down below if you found me on youtube or if you're here now and you don't already follow me on instagram definitely check me out the handle is at amy the space creator i put loads of things on there and if you liked this video definitely give it a thumbs up i really appreciate all the likes and the comments as well and also i post a new youtube video every wednesday so definitely hit subscribe and press the bell alarm button and you'll get notified when my new video goes live every wednesday and i will see you next week bye